Oh, hi there, big boys. Welcome to 2084. This is some sort of shooter game where you can hack stuff by pressing right click, shoot zombies by pressing left click, and fire out guns by pressing middle click. Uh, uh, this game is odd. My first thought is that it crashed for me five times when I started the game, and also it seems to be some sort of uh, roguelike thing. There doesn't seem to really be a campaign. But yeah, um, not really sure what I'm doing. Uh, you can shift by doing that. You got grenades by doing that. Yeah, not like that. You can shoot them, and that's fun. Not really. But I don't know. It's a bit. Um, my first thought is it's just not terribly interesting. But um, something interesting. But you know, it's ex it exists. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this the story of this game is that it's a game jam game that then was developed further and then released on Steam. And I don't think any consoles or anything. But yeah, the main problem I've got with this game is the fact that it cr crashed on me literally four times and I had to restart a lot of times. Also, it seems to be a 62 FPS cap, which I don't think is very logical, but I guess it's there. Which I didn't actually appreciate. Oh god. There's no melee attacks or anything, and I don't really know if there's any, like, actual gameplay other than just, you know, shoot the zombies and hack stuff and then keep going and going and going and going forever. And then hope something happens because it doesn't seem to make doesn't seem to be going much further than that, which um, isn't particularly good. See, it's I mean at least the graphics are quite pretty, quite pretty. Uh, optimization seems mm, I don't know. I mean I'm running a Vega 64 and Ryzen 2600 I think, and I'm getting um oh story, um, and I'm getting you know. I mean, admittedly, 62 FPS, which is a cap, aren't the highest graphics, but it looks like it's running lower than 62. It doesn't seem to be running very well. I don't know, it's a bit odd. But yeah, that's that. How do I. I don't know. Um, but yeah, basically, I believe this game was made with people that made Observer, I think. I wouldn't quote me on that. It's like, I've read something about how they reused some assets or something. But I mean, at least it does look pretty. It does look pretty. Shoot that. What, where's my bullets? Don't know. Oh, here we go. Let's do that. And actually, what does that do? I don't really know. Oh, I need to hack something, really. Oh, it didn't let me hack it earlier, but I can hack it now. There you go. That's what you're supposed to do. Lovely. Yeah, I don't know about this game, really, but it exists. And you can purchase it for uh, money. That's good. Well, I can tell this game actually does have a story, sort of. And this isn't it isn't actually a roguelike. This it's got an endless mode, but this is actually the story mode. But to be honest, it's not really that story related. But it is a story, and it's weird. The game looks doesn't smooth at all, does it? It looks really unsmooth. I mean, I know it's because I'm used to 144 hertz probably, but still. Yeah. How do I open this door? I do not know. Um. Don't know. Okay. I don't know, I guess we'll look around. We'll fo probably follow these arrows, really. Probably would have made more sense. See where this go taking us. Is it actually taking us where we have to go? If it is, then that's quite clever. Well, it's not, it's big yellow arrows, but. Oh, yeah. Ah! You can shoot the baddies. They're all the same thing, just reskinned over and over again, really. But, you know, they're, they're zombies. Everyone likes zombies. Actually, never, no one likes zombies, really, nowadays, but. Yeah. Hacking is simple as that, but it's it's smooth and stuff. So it could be worse. What? Okay. Whoa. There's a fair few. We need to get some more energy, really. And what does that gun do? It didn't tell me. I, I swear the game never told me what that, what that gun did. I swear. I've got middle click. I know what that does, but... Mm. Oh, well. Uh, apparently it's a very short campaign thing. It said on the sto on the uh, story, uh, the description of the game, that it was short. But that's a surprise to no one. But yeah, apparently this is a game jam game which got expanded on, which is cool, I guess, if a bit lazy. But yeah, and I read about it. What? Oh, is that Steam codes? Probably not. But <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny. Uh, apparently this game is not developed by the people that made Observer, but like somehow like a company like some of the people who work there also work in this and they reuse that or something like that, I don't know. Something to do with that. Um and yeah, so that's that really. I did a bit of research midway through the video. Uh because I did. And what can you say about that really? So what we've got in here, oh we got found ourselves I don't we're just following the green arrows. So I wish life was simple as simple as that. I'd just follow the green arrows if I could. Hmm. What am I 
I'm doing. See, am I even doing the right thing? I really don't know. It's weird. It looks smoother on my on the right screen than it does on the left screen. I don't know why that is. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not even, am I filming at 60 fps? I shouldn't be filming. It. I'm pretty sure I film at 30, don't I? Don't know. We'll find out, I guess. If we are, I guess I'm rendering at 60. Woohoo! Exciting. Haven't done many, many of these recently. Oh no. Uh, what's that? No. Don't know. What am I supposed to do here? To beat the game. What's that about? Um. It's weird. Sometimes you're trying to hack stuff and you sort of can't. Oh, there we go. Oh, is there a boss? Oh, it's a boss. Uh, it's not a particularly good one, but it's a boss nevertheless. I'm running out of, out of ammo. Uh. God. What's that? healing itself. Well, this is cool. This is reasonably cool. It's a bit loud, but it's cool. So what, am I going to have to keep doing that, I guess? Yeah, and then you do it again. Oh, oh no. Mess it up. Ah, there you go. Speed presser. I need to hack it. There we go. Well, I mean, this is an interesting boss fight. I mean, not really. It's it's very simple, very easy, but it's it's different than shooting zombies, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. I guess you just keep shooting it, really. I don't understand the whole rate of fire thing. It seems to decrease over time, and then sort of ramp back up. I don't know if it's meant to do with not shooting for a while fixes it, but I don't know. Oh well. Da -da -da. Power cut, lovely. So I beat the game. And it crashed. Uh, see, now this is my point here. It crashed. And this has happened a few times now. Okay, in that case, I, I guess that's my review. Of, well, that's, yeah, there you go. It's right there now. It's this 2084 for PC. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it, really given it seems to have crashed on me multiple times now and I, if I'm being honest I was a bit bored playing the game I mean it it, 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 was, it was a game it, it just seemed a bit sort of lifeless and a bit sort of like I could be playing any other game which is, does, does this better but I mean admittedly at least the sort of graphics were nice the atmosphere was nice the, com the gunplay was fine it's just yeah it's alright um, so that's 2084. Uh, thanks for watching, big boys. This is a strange video. See you some point in time, and bye. Bye. bye, bye.